Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to Diablo 3. We are taking the exact same build that we were using in the last video, and we're going to pump the Torment up to 5. We're going to do a level 22 Greater Rift, just to see where we level out at, because I'm, I'm honestly not too sure. Uh, I have done... I have, like, crawled through a Torment 6, you know, normal Rift. Uh, I don't think I would have met the time for a greater rift, which is why we're, we're starting out on Torment 5 and we're going to kind of pace ourselves from there. But if you didn't see the last video, we are using the Yuliana set. And as you can see, it's very focused on clumping things up and then killing everything on the screen at one time. Pretty much once your palm has spread adequately. If what we've seen so far is any indication, then we are absolutely going to be able to clear this content in a very reasonable time. All we have to do is spread the palm just a little bit and then seven-sided strike to kill nearly everything. The density hasn't been too bad in here though, but these guys are absolutely not putting up a fight at all. Not putting up a fight at all. Uh, I do wish we had some more cooldown reduction so we wouldn't have little weird pauses like the one right there where we're just kind of like waiting for seven-sided strike to come off cooldown with a ton of guys around me. But you know what? That's that's part of what we're dealing with right now, and that's okay. We do have a channeling pylon, which is going to allow me to cover a lot of ground in a very short amount of time. Uh, also going to allow me to seven-sided strike pretty much to my heart's content. Uh, we're going to be able to clear this place out in no time. I do want to see what it's like to fight a Rift Guardian with seven-sided strike like with no cooldown using a channeling pylon i do want to see what that's like sometime because i have a feeling <laughs> like i could kill just about anything keep in mind when you're using seven sided strike you are totally immune to any damage that the enemy can dish out totally immune uh, you basically cease to exist and then your life on hit actually comes into play with each strike so if you want to pay attention to my health bar here down at the bottom left I guess they're just not dealing enough damage. Let's see if we can bring them up here. Nope, still not dealing enough damage. All right, so I think this is pretty conclusive that Torment 5 is too easy and we need to up the difficulty a little bit. Uh, we can go ahead and grab this speed pile on right here, continue to take out these yellows, and I'll skip ahead to the boss. All right, boss is about to spawn. We sped through this thing like it was our day job because technically it is. That was a good example of my life on hit, uh, proccing with the seven-sided strike. So, uh, the boss is about to spawn. We'll go ahead and pop our Desert Shroud, our Epiphany. Uh, just get our damage bonus out. We're waiting for seven-sided strike to come off cooldown, and here we go. Almost killed it in one go. Not quite. Not quite. But pretty damn close. So Torment 5, a little bit too easy. Let's move it up to Torment 6 and see what we can do. Alright, this is a level 25 Greater Rift. This is the baseline difficulty where it just starts to ramp up to Torment 6. Uh, density so far, not too good. Uh, but it looks like a lot of these mobs will be running to me, which is definitely a good thing. We'll just try to clump them up while Seven Sided Strike is on cooldown, and there we go. Clearing out the screen just fine. I have a feeling we're going to hit an extremely hard wall with progression. Uh, we're just going to get to a point where all of a sudden our Seven Sided Strike does not kill everything on the screen, and it's going to slow down progress quite a bit. But for the time being, it doesn't look like we have found that. Uh, the last rift, by the way, only took me four minutes to complete in total. That's an incredibly fast rift. The farming capabilities of this are, are appearing to be second to none as of right now. Nice. That was beautiful. Almost killed the yellow and I was barely even attacking him there. Wow, this is a big, this is a big deal. This build is a big deal. Oh, look at this density too. All we have to do is wait for seven sided strike to come off cooldown again. And everything dies. Well, nearly everything. The blue pack actually didn't. Oh, you're making me look bad. So, basically the reason he didn't die there is because Seven-Sided Strike only attacks in a, in a very limited range. Again, just like Charism's ultimate in Heroes of the Storm. Uh, they behave extremely similarly. Uh, it only attacks in a small area, and that guy basically moved out of the area, which is why he lived through it. I don't know what that pylon was. Looks like it was a power... 
Uh, I could go for a speed right about now. I, a, pil a power pylon isn't really going to help me out here because we kill everything so fast anyway. I mean, if I hit them for more than their health bar with one seven-sided strike, having an improved power pylon isn't actually going to help our clear speed at all. Like, at all. Look at this density. Look at it! <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, it's so much fun. I'm enjoying this so much more than I thought I would. This is a, this is a phenomenal set and a phenomenal playstyle. I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. We have to do this right. I'm going to cast Epiphany. I'm going to get everything I can. I'm going to get everything I can here. <laughs> oh my god, pure joy on my face right now. Pure joy! This is insane! That is absolutely ridiculous! Well, this is Torment 6 done in four minutes, exactly. Uh, alright. Next difficulty, please. Okay, I guess what I said was inaccurate. It was done in four minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, our previous rift was done in four minutes, exactly. Uh, we are now bumping it up to Torment 7. This is Greater Rift level 30. Remember, prior to getting this set, we were sitting at like 15, 16 area. Uh, so um, <laughs> we've made a lot of progression in a very short amount of time if we are able to clear this. Uh, already taking more damage than the previous attempts just off of those first few mobs. But again, that's what we have Epiphany for. We're just going to cast it every time we fight a yellow pack and then... Seven-sided strike it down. We actually did not kill off the yellow mob there, so maybe this is where I'm falling into place. Jengus messaging me to let me know that Rexar has been released in the Heroes of the Storm. But uh, the reason he lived through the second seven-sided there is simply because uh, he had ads around them. Remember, we're much stronger when we're hitting a single target. I'm not going to bother with this. The density in here definitely nowhere near as good as what we've been seeing. We might be able to get a decent clump here, though. Let's go ahead and try. That'll do. And then we're just going to keep moving. Especially when, when Seven Sided Strike is on cooldown, I feel like my priority should be looking for a, a high density of mobs. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Going to have to cast Epiphany to stay alive, dodging forward with Dashing Strike for the survivability bonus. All right, so we're actually having to use my my abilities in an intelligent way now. We can't just walk into everything and kill it. All right, I like where this is going. Seems like this is where I'm falling into with my gear, Torment 7, which is fine. Torment 7 is actually a really good difficulty to start uh, farming on once your gear is capable of uh, because it it's basically the point right before, or maybe it's Torment 8. I can't remember. There's, there's a Torment difficulty where basically you get double the item drops. Um, and it's either Torment 7 or Torment 8. I'm going to have to confirm that. And when I'm talking about item drops, I'm talking about like stuff like Death's Breath, uh, which is incredibly important this patch. We could get a significant amount of those on Torment 7 or Torment 8. But the timer not being too generous to us. Again, I think a lot of that has to just simply do with the density of what we're actually fighting here. Had to use Epiphany just to stay alive. I always hate bees. I've never enjoyed bee riffs. Uh, this is no exception at all. Here we go. We got a clump of two blue packs here. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, before I die. Oh, got to dash out. Got to dash out. We can spread the palm over here, though. We can keep clumping things up. Dash back in this direction. I think I killed one of them. I'm not sure. Maybe we only had one blue pack there. I think we did. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. This will... Oh, yeah. That'll do just fine. Uh, these guys are shielding, unfortunately, so I may not even spend the time I need to fight these guys. I'm going to wait for that shield to go away at the top, and here we go, seven-sided. Not that great. Not that great. Not killing him. So it seems like Torment 6 is the butter zone for me right now. We're going to be able to clear this, no doubt in my mind. But it's certainly not the most effective clear. Certainly. Certainly. Alright. Come on. Hurry up and die. 
You can see when Seven Side Strike is down, basically all of my damage falls off, which is a little awkward. It's a little, it's a little awkward. We don't have any other spirit spenders or anything to spam. Uh, I don't know. And I guess that's the the situation where it doesn't fall off. I have health bars turned off for some reason, but like, if we can get these tiny little guys and just punch one of them to death, that'll make the Gungo Gears kick in. Or Gungdo Gears, or whatever they're called. That'll make those kick in and then start to spread the palm, but the most reliable way to do that, obviously, is with the seven-sided strike. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying! So satisfying. So as you can see, the density in this place finally picked up. Um, you know, wasn't amazing or anything. We finally found the boss. That's one seven-sided strike right there. So uh, definitely slowing down on Torment 7 as of right now, which I mean is to be expected. As I've mentioned before, none of this gear is even remotely optimized. Uh, I just kind of picked it up and went with it. I don't have my uh, Kanai's Cube fully decked out with what I want or anything. I mean, this is pretty much just what the baseline of the set piece is allowing me to do. And from here on out, we can refine this, make it better, and continue to improve. But, oh good, Demon Hunter gear. Great, that's what I needed. But for now, that's going to end today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely really happy with this set. It's a it's a lot of fun to play right now. Once we get this Go of Swiftness up to level 25, it's going to start reducing our cooldown significantly more, which means we're going to be able to pump out more seven-sided strikes, which should have us going in the right direction. But as of right now, I think I'm going to end this right here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.